out here in Louisiana today, met up with Bayou Diggs. He's already out. We're hitting this uh, lake. Uh, we're going to be on some beaches, and they drain the lake down a little bit. And so we get out a little bit further and going to see if we can find some rings today. And if we can't, we're going to move on over to some, uh, some relic hunting and some uh, different permissions that uh, Bayou has invited me down to do some dig with him. So I'm really excited. I really enjoy doing some digs with Bayou Diggs. And uh, so he's getting the ring, so I need to shut up. I need to get out there and let me go see what I can find. I'm going to be hunting with my scoop today. Don't have the scoop cam on it. And my Equinox. I'm just going to be set up in Park 1 and everything's just going to be standard. And uh, just going to be listening for those gold and silver rings. So let's get at it. There's Mr. Bayou right there. Yeah, he has uh, got me coming down today. And we're going to try to get on some of these rings. And uh, he's found some already. How many have you found already? I might have pulled 15, 20 rings out of here already. Oh, man, you're making my mouth drool right now thinking well, about I it. I missed a lot. I know I missed a bunch. You're going to help me get the rest? We're going to get the rest, so let's get at it. Mayu's giving me the thumbs up for a ring over here. It's getting an 8 and 9 on the Equinox, he says. Yeah, I know I'm looking for gold. Oh. I don't know if it's gold, but. Check that it. out. No, it's stainless. No. It's got some initials on it. It's going to say MLS. It feels stainless. Let's go there and can I wash it off? I got a free comb here. A brother's comb. Yeah, that's going to be stainless. Hey, there you go. Congratulations, first one on the board. He's got a silver earring. I've got an earring. And so eight, nine, stainless steel ring. So we know they're out here. So let's keep on digging. Well, right after uh, Bayou got that uh, silver ring, I mean that uh, stainless ring, I started walking back over there where I was and got like a uh, real jumpy signal and, and dug down. And I'm just trying to learn my AT, I mean my uh, Equinox numbers versus my AT Pro when I'm doing water hunting. And I got a real jumpy signal, then clear some dirt off of it. And then I ended up getting a like a, a 1617. And check this out. It's right on a scoop still. I thought it was a ring at first, but it's not going to be a ring. But I'm pretty certain it's going to be a silver uh, earring. So I'll take that. That's the first, my second earring. Lots of quarters, lots of quarters. So let's set it right down here. And let's keep on rolling. Well, I have got nothing. No ring yet. I've got two earrings, lots and lots of change, tons of trash, but no ring yet. I think Bayou's only got that one ring, that stainless steel ring with initials on it, but I'm going to take a break, get me some energy. Then I'm going to get back out there and try a new section, see what we'll come up with. Bayou's done calling me over, got another ring, says it's silver and gold. Let's check it out. It's going to be silver with a gold gold content. Gold content in the middle, yeah. That's nice. It should say 925 plus, plus uh, 10 karat gold there. Yeah. That's a nice ring. That's it. There it is right there. 925 and is it 10 karat? 10K. 925, yeah. 10K. Check that out. That's pretty nice. Well, congratulations, number two. Preacher Digger, zero. <laughs> uh, it's your turn, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to get something. We got a big beach here. Let's keep swinging. All right. I got a 3132 here. It sounds really good. Bayou gave me the signal. So let's uh, do this a live dig, see what it is. I was digging some 3132s and 30s over there, but it was a piece of trash earlier. Big pieces of metal. It's still got a good tone to it. It's down in that lower dirt. All right, I got it out right here. Maybe not. There it is, right there. It's somewhere right there. 
Oh, it's a quarter. That's a quarter. You tried though, didn't you? I tried. Yeah. You were being gracious. Thank you. No, we'll just keep going. All right, back out here today with the Bayou Digs. He's over there. Already got his first target. And we're out in some big open fields today, sandwiched in between some uh, the Bayou Road and old plantations. And we're in a field where they have found uh, larcents and reals and other stuff. And so maybe today's going to be a better day than yesterday. I didn't get anything yesterday at all. I got two little earrings. That's all I got. And, but you got to have days like that. Just keep swinging, right? We just keep swinging. That's all we can do. So let's, speaking of swinging, let's get the swinging. Well, I haven't gone very far. You can see the road right back here. I got a real jumpy 18, 19 signal and got two different places. And they got a gold chain. Check this out. I should say gold bracelet or gold, looks gold plated. But no telling how old that is. That's my first find of the day. That's more than yesterday. All right, let's keep swinging. I'm over here by the bayou now. I'll turn you around. Bayou's right there. And I've been going through the field. And what I do in these big fields is I'm always looking for glass, pottery, uh, stuff like that, marbles, because that was a sign where there was activity and things like that. And I, put, I run full metal on my detector. And the reason why is because I'm listening for iron because anywhere there's a bunch of iron, it's going to be a house and different things like that pottery. And I found a spot over here by the bayou that I find pottery and white milk glass and lots of iron. So I've just been kind of circling in and out, in and out, in and out and thinking, hey, it's got to be something in here somewhere and just got a 27. And it looks like, I don't know what it is, but uh, I want to show it to you. Get the real shallow, only about an inch deep. Let me show you this. You can see right there, it's a coin or, or something, maybe, or is it just a, a washer? Ah, I think it's just going to be a washer. Ah, oh, man, you get your hopes up out here in these fields, something real old. Let me rub it here on my pants and make sure. Yeah, I think it's just going to be some type of square hole washer. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on it. Let me clean it up one more time. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's not even a Chinese coin. I think it's just going to be a green type of washer. All right. Anyway, well, that's a good sign that there's stuff here. So let's keep swinging around in circles here until we get something really good. I left my area down there where a house site, Benjamin called me up. He's all the way over here. He is Doug. There's a military button. That's a Eagle A. I don't know if you can see it, but look at the A right there in the middle. Eagle A, yeah, I definitely can see it. And then he dug this little piece right here. It's silver with some design on it. And he's got some flat buttons. So he's on a little site over here too. So we're fixing to come over here. Lead also. And uh Hit this side over here, and maybe we'll find some more stuff. Let's get a solid 19, and got a nice flat button here. It's my second one. I dug a smaller one earlier. Well, that's good. That's something. That means people were here, soldiers or whoever. Well, we moved on from the fields. And we're heading over here to this 1901 property that Bayou Diggs has. He's hit it a little bit, not a whole lot, but it's a real nice home. Let me turn you around. You can see it there. And notice above my head is a four-leaf clover. So maybe that's going to give us good luck. I haven't had luck yesterday, and I really haven't found a whole lot today, as you can see in the video. So maybe this place will produce a few silvers and... I don't know how old the silvers we're going to get, but uh, I'll take anything right now. All right, let's get the swing and see what we can find. Give me a prediction. What are we going to find? You can you name it, claim it right here. Boudin balls. We found, we found boudin balls for sure, didn't we? But this is a great looking property. 
So maybe the four leaf clover is going to give us some good luck. Well, I think the four leaf clover up there brought me good luck because I just got an 11 12 real jumpy signal around. Oh, it's pretty deep, about six inches deep. I don't know what kind of it's a nickel, but I'm not sure. I think it's a V nickel. So let me show you. You can see I took that off and then dug down a second time here, and there's the imprint right there. Get in the sun. And there's the nickel still on the clod. So let's, uh, I don't want to rub these too much. They definitely, yeah, definitely a shield nickel, I mean a V nickel. And I don't know the date on that. I don't want to rub it because it rubs that patina off. So let me, uh, let me do a little cleaning on it. And let me see what we get a date on it. All right, I think it's going to be a 1908. So it's going to be the latter years. I think they made these up to 1913 or 19. So 1913, I think it's the last year on these. All right, let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, still out here in front of the house. I used join me. And just got another 11, 12 deep signal. Just popped it up and it fell back in the hole. And... Another V-nickel. That's what that's going to be. I don't know the date on that one. If I rub it, it's going to rub it all off. So let's just set it up here and let's get a picture. And let's just keep on digging. Well, me and Bayou moved on from that other house. It was in 1901. We moved on into town now and we're going to be detecting this 1903 house. See what we can come up with. So wish us luck. All right, I got the thumbs up from Bayou saying he's got some silver. Let's go see what he's got. All right, yeah, I did. I just went over the roots right there. It's right out here. Ah, 28. 28. What is it going to be, Rosie? No, it's a Merc. Yeah. It's your Merc. In the shade, can you see what date that is? Hmm. It's wiping on my pants. Can y'all see that? 1930 something. I can't tell. Well, there you go, man. Yeah. You got the first silver of the day. Let's see who <laughs> get the oldest silver now. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's not for lack of trying. We've been. I know it. I just came, up. literally, I came right over those roots right there. It didn't come in the middle. That's the way it goes, though, isn't it? All right. I got a good tone down here. I'm going to go dig it up. It's just called Bayou over. I don't know. I can see a silver rim, though. I see the silver, but look what's in the hole. That's why it was jumping up from like a 26 to a 32, up and down, up and down, jumping around. I popped that out, rechecked my hole. Ooh, I see a silver rim. And it came down. All right. You want to do it or you want me to do it? Oh, you, you reached for mine. You get know. mine then. We're, we're friends like that. Yeah. What we got there? Pop that baby. One down. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? I don't know. It looks like a barber. It's it doesn't quite barber. look like a back of a. It could be a late seated. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. See what I got. Ready? Yeah, it's a 1903 house, so I figured it'd be a later. You got your barber. What is it? 19, 16. 1916, the first year they came out. It's Check that out, man. Yes. Good job. It's an S. A 19 S barber, 1916 barber. How about that? All right. I, you got the first. I got the oldest so far. <laughs> yeah, his was a 39. We knew that there would be a barber in here. We're, we're at the same date range uh, for barbers in this place. So, all right. Let's get a picture. Let's keep on rolling. All right, we are back over here on this property where we found a lot of stuff. The old church and then back here is the old circus grounds that we found so much stuff on. But right across the street is the bayou and where's the old landing. And this used to be, what was this? This was the depot for the shipping and the historical markers right over there. And we have got permission to do this. So we're going to go over there now and hit that. And then we found the seeds 
and the barbers and the 1852 coins. We found tokens. We found down here, we found bullets and the box plate. I mean, we have found so much of this property, tokens. And so we're going to finish our day out here. So let's get the swing. I think I just dug the biggest buckle I've ever dug in my entire life. It's old. It's green, too. Check this out. It was deep. That's my hand. It must be horse tack or something. That's a big old brass buckle. I haven't cleaned it up yet to even see if there's any riding on it. I'll take it. It's my first target over here. I'm just back over here to the church. We didn't find anything over there at that uh, landing. Ever thought that we think it, the dirt has been filled in, and so everything's too deep to dig. All right, well, Benjamin, we did it. We had a, a hit and run kind of day, didn't we? We just we put holes all over Central Louisiana, didn't we? We hit one place, then we hit another place, and we run to another place, and hit another place, and run to another place all day long, yesterday and today, really. Uh, we hit uh, three different beaches. Yeah, his arms out, my back's out. And so instead of doing a wrap up out in the field, we came over here to his house and got everything laid out. We had a good day though. And uh, just like yesterday, um, like I said, sometimes you just have days where you just don't find anything, you know, and that's just the name of, name of the game sometimes, you know, you just don't find a lot. Uh, Benjamin had a good day yesterday. Uh, I found nothing yesterday. He smoked me, but today I had a pretty good day. And, uh, but you know, that's the way it is sometimes. So, so let me show you what we found. Here's my trash, uh, Benjamin's trash is, he dug his fair share of it as well. And, uh, but yeah, you have to dig all of this stuff in order to find all the good stuff. We'll start up here. This is all Benjamin finds here. He's got him a pair of sunglasses, a bracelet, some fishing stuff, and uh, some bullets, some odds and ends stuff that he dug today. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second. A lot of, uh, Coins or your dimes, Just nickels, modern and the modern coins, more coins. And uh, at the lake, he ended up getting a tow ring. He got a stainless ring with the MLS on it. And he got a gold and silver. Oh, that's cleaned up really good. Mm -hmm. You cleaned it up, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. That's gold inlay with silver ring and a bunch of earrings. He got him a watch. And uh, here's some of the stuff today. He got him another watch face. Got him a, what caliber was this one? 32 Remington. 32, and then got him a three ringer, some more stuff. We think maybe that was the, maybe a cufflinks there. Of course, you come to Louisiana, you're going to dig a tax token for sure. And uh, he got a nice, check that out, Eagle A button. And uh, that's a real nice one. Got him a pocket watch and some other odds and ends. He got him a uh, Mercury Dime and four Wheaties and a whole mess of flat buttons. But I think the find of the day for him is going to be that right there. He came up to me and asked me, what was this? And uh, that is half of a spur. The, the star would be back there, the spur. And this will be one half and the other half to the left is missing. So I think that's a, a great relic to put in there with all the other stuff. Got some more odds and ends, uh, but overall, he had a pretty good day. I like the rings. I'm not the ring king. I tell you <laughs> what, Benjamin is a good ring hunter, I tell you. I got some toy cars out the lake, fishing lure, little porcelain top. I got a couple of earrings, that one stud and one, uh, I believe that is going to be a silver ring, a uh, silver earring. Then I got a chain today. It's not gold, it's gold plated and uh, found that. Here's all my coins. Out of all those quarters, not a single silver ring out of all those things. Should have been a silver ring there. Anyway, that, that's uh, two, four, six, seven dollars and seventy-five cents in quarters. And we got uh, 10, uh, 17 uh, dimes, four nickels, and we got uh, 20 pennies. Uh, got a well, um, what do you call that thing? Valve stem, Valve stem cover, yeah. And then I got a huge buckle. I've never dug a buckle that big. This, look at it in my hand. This is how I'm, I'm a big man, six foot two, 300 pounds. And look at that. That thing is huge. I don't know what it came off of. It's got good patina on it. Uh, I've got a couple of flat buttons, a small one. And then uh, one uh, bigger one, about the size of a quarter. Got some bucking ball. 
Ended up getting a nine Wheaties. I don't even know the dates on them yet. Uh, I got some little relics. These are really cool things, and I don't know a watch key finder, and this has got some writing on it. I'm going to try to see what that says. That's a patent right there. But this is a really cool and interesting find. I don't know what that is. If y'all know what that is, comment in the comments. Uh, looks like it's broken, but it looks like it. It's too decorative. I'm gonna clean it up later on. But really nice. I think it's a key latch cover. A key latch yeah, cover. It I'll, says I'll patent on it. Before, I think it would have. It would have swung open to reveal the. Yeah. Shield. I got two V nickels. One's a 1903 or 1908, and the other one I'm not sure. I couldn't get a date off of that one. So that's some, that's my old coins, and then my find of the day is going to be this 1916 Barber dime. Very nice condition too, and found it in that 1903 backyard that Benjamin hadn't hit yet. So he got his fur. He got the first silver. I got the oldest silver. So there. Are the finds. There's all the trash. Here's all the treasure. And like I say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go to a beach and on the fields and everything else and dig out of the ground. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless. Mm -hmm.